two. Okay, how can this go wrong really fast? This goes, star goes wrong really fast when um, if your base doesn't press through the legs. Sometimes it's rare, but they'll collapse and they'll fall right back, backwards, you know, right on, flat onto the back. It happens, right? If you fall out and you just fall flat on your back, it is a high height to fall from on your back. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to teach you how to roll out of it. So be really mindful of falling back straight this way, flat on your back. Okay. Another thing, which is less common, uh, but does sometimes happen if you're jumping on a base that doesn't have the leg strength quite yet, or the control, you'll jump right on and they'll collapse right this way. They'll actually collapse back this way over and land back on your head that way. Um, but more than likely, it's going to be this kind of teeter-tottering and you're going to fall out to the side. So because of that, I want you to, um, after the end of the demonstration, I want you to do a lot more headstands and learning how to twist out to the side versus just flat on your back. So here I'm going to demonstrate what Sammy's doing to help me make that frame look stronger. So first thing is we'll walk up. Uh, place my say somewhere right where the feet kind of touch the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Down there is good. And this is the first expression of what I talked about earlier about you go where you look. Okay? If she looks straight down at the ground here, it's going to be very hard for her to get her hips over. Okay. And so I understand some people feel a lot safer looking at the ground because they can spot the landing falling down. But when you are, um, when you do that, it, it forces you to be to, to press more into your hands, which is safer, which is what I want you to do in the beginning. So let's start just looking at the ground first, jumping, and not even getting up, just jumping up and landing back on your feet. But this is more than likely what would happen. Keep going. Up. It's hard to get your hips over when you <laughs> keep looking at the ground, right? One more. Up. So you can do that to get the, that frame feeling here. I'm pressing through her hands as she's jumping. Okay. Um, one thing that I can do to help uh, my flyer get over is as she jumps, I'm going to meet her in the middle. I'm going to bend down. The deeper I bend, the easier it is because her hips are already open now, right? But the less, the more I bend, the more I have to push. So between you and your partner, uh, work with what your strengths are. If your if your uh, base has like a really strong squat, they can go really low. But if they're not quite that strong yet, you'll have to jump higher. So it's between the two of you. And then you go where you look. So now that Sammy's gotten that feeling of jumping up and down, if she looks straight back, her hips are going to come over easier than if she looked at the ground. One, two. So now that she's here, her hips, and only when her hips are over her shoulders can I press up. Because if I um, come in and come back down. If I press up before her hips are over, it's going to force her to fall back on this side, which is the safer side, which is okay. 80% of the time, you're going to fall right back this way. So I'm going to start pressing up before she even hits too long. <laughs> if I press up too soon, so the time, if I press up too soon, her hips are going to come right back. Yeah. One, two, three, hips are over, and then I press up with my legs and my arms at the same time. Notice her straddle makes it a lot easier for me to balance the side thing than if, her, if she jumps straight up with the feet straight up in the sky. Okay, so jump up and straddle out. Uh, feet placement. A common mistake, I think, are a lot of bases will bring the feet like right towards the shoulders here <laughs> when they jump in. And that makes it really hard on the shoulders there. Because you have to imagine point B. Point B is you want to be here. So when she jumps on in the beginning, you want to place your feet to where it's more towards the top of the shoulders than just the tips <laughs> like that. Okay. I love your face when you do. <laughs> and then another common thing I think that flies would do is instead of pushing into the hands here, they want to pull, pull onto it. And a way that you can adjust with that is you have to pike straddle those legs. The more you pike straddle this way, the more you, it forces you to push into those hands. So that's really key. Okay? We'll come back down. And then even as she comes down, you're pushing off the arms as the flyer so you can slow down that descent. Okay. So one way to warm up with this is what I had you do earlier, which is those tripod headstands up here, right? If you feel like you're really light and falling back this way, it's like a point of no return. It's a little too far. And with the new base, they can do very little to help you fall. Okay. It's really like flat on your back fall. Therefore, when you come up, I want you to really keep these legs really heavy and piked down this way where it forces you to press through the arms and the triceps and keep the core tight there. So keep the legs as low as you can 
until you feel like you're falling on the ground this way, which is what you want to do in the beginning to keep it safe is to over pike on purpose. And it's going to be harder on you and on your shoulders, but it's a safer way to keep it on that side on the whole time. Give it a try.